Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Audio Video Me. Uh, today I'm going to do the unboxing and review on this uh, uh, Blog Punk 47 inch 3D LED TV. Uh, now, this is a German company, and uh, this TV is made. Uh, in European Union so it's not made in China and uh, the main reason I purchased this TV over Japanese TVs is because the reviews of this TV they were good so I'm just going to test it and uh, uh, for the price I paid about 329 pounds uh, online for this TV uh, for the price and the specs, I think it's alright. It's 1080p. It's not the new 4K or anything uh, But you know how much 4K uh, Material is available at the moment other than just Netflix uh, and uh, YouTube um, uh, It is uh, 100 Hertz and uh, it, it states here 100 AMR so I believe so it's 100 Hertz and as far as I have uh, done my research online, uh, it has a response time of uh, 8 milliseconds, which is not bad uh, for the price. As I said, uh, this is not going to be my main TV. It's just uh, I'm going to use it as a reference screen uh, for my different projects uh, in one of my rooms. Okay, so I'm just going to do the unboxing and later I will do a review uh, on... on uh, the picture and the functions. Okay, let's start by unboxing the TV. And by the way, it's a, a passive uh, 3D uh, and uh, about four passive glasses are included inside. And If you are a geologist or anything like that, I mean a lot of people say 3D is gimmick. And 3D is not only used uh, for watching movies or anything. I mean, if you, are in, if you are a chemistry student or anything like that, you need to look at the molecules and stuff. I mean, 3D is a good way uh, to look at molecules. Uh, or if you are a designer and stuff, uh, 3D is handy. Uh, and for this price, you can't go wrong uh, as long as the 3D is good, which I'll test later on. Okay. Let's get this out. It has a UK plug. One thing I don't like about uh, domestic TVs is that the uh, power cable is basically is soldered uh, inside the TV. It's like, uh, you know, if you're doing a professional installation, uh, you have to basically cut the wire if you want to feed it through a conduit or, or any kind of uh, uh, wall installation, uh, which is not ideal. Hopefully, with this TV, uh, the wire is not soldered or attached to the motherboard. Yeah, but let's see. I doubt that it's gonna be that. It's gonna be a separate wire. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide the TV out. I can tell right away that this TV is a little bit heavier than the conventional Japanese models. Uh, and it's basically almost uh, double the weight of the equivalent 47 or 48, 49 inches, which is a good thing to me. I mean, as long as the components inside they're high quality components, that's all it matters. It has got some weight to it, and it's not that thick, it's about one inch thick, which I can live with. Okay, just gonna place the TV beside the wall. Here is the base stand. Just gonna keep that aside. Okay, this packet right here contains the remote control and other bits. 
Let's check the quality of the remote control. Okay. Here is the remote control. Uh, pretty basic remote control and the quality is all right. It's just plasticky quality. Okay, it's so just gonna keep that aside. They have provided one RF uh, aerial TV connection cable. I think this is RF cable as well. Okay, let's see what's inside this box. Okay, they have provided one, two, three, about four passive 3d glasses these are pretty cheap I mean you can get them for a quid and uh, energy rating on this TV is the highest uh, it's a plus as you can see a plus right here okay that's pretty good and uh, They have provided screws, screws and batteries for the remote control and the stand. Pretty basic manual, just one page manual. And uh, this is warranty information card. Okay. It has got 12 months manufacturer warranty, which is good enough. All right, and this, that's another document. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. Okay. So this is the base of the TV stand it's uh, made of glass uh, they, it's not that bad it's pretty good but I'm going I always mount my TVs I don't use it on basis so this is no good for me uh, anyways they provide it so it's good and uh, that's pretty much it and uh, to start with it has uh, three HDMI 1.4 uh, ports uh, it has a USB PVR which only works with uh, uh, the RF uh, input uh, connection. You can't record uh, a live TV if, uh, via, if anything is connected via HDMI. Uh, obviously you guys know why. And uh, uh, then other stuff I'm going to test later. The picture quality and the 3D quality and stuff and the sound quality. Uh, okay, I see you in second part of this video. Thanks. Uh, okay, hold on one second. I just let's see what the TV is like. Let me get the TV. Yes. Okay. So here it is. Here is the TV. It's gonna. Getting the TV out. Just be careful when you're doing this. Do not damage the TV. Always protect the TV. Okay, so this is the TV. As you can see, uh, the edge to the bezel ratio is very less it's a sleek tv i mean if you look here it's a sleek tv very nice very impressed with the build quality of the tv i mean the plastic used the bezel everything so far impressive and uh, just gonna show you the back 
of the TV where all the ports and stuff are. So, you guys get an idea. Okay. If you can see, it has these buttons right here, which are very nicely built and uh, it's kind of like a pro quality you can get. I mean, the material used is really good. I'm so impressed. Like, you find this in pro quality, not for domestic use, what you get in Sony, Panasonic, or other TVs, unless you're willing to spend two grand. Uh, seems like uh, the IEC power cable is soldered inside the motherboard but you can open this compartment and probably detach it uh, I'm not gonna test this right now later on let me show you the port area and here are the ports this one HDMI 1 HDMI 2 then this is a VGA for your laptop connection then this is the RFN for free sat light channels or I don't know it's probably free view not free sat sorry it's free view then looking at this side of the ports looking at this side of the ports uh, this is your coax I believe that's for your audio output and uh, there is a USB this is USB 2.0 and this is HDMI 3 input and this is the CI card I don't know never used it uh, this is the video input it's all component video in RL Y P V V R, and this is the headphone jack so pretty basic inputs but these are the inputs required uh, by me so that's it but I can tell you guys the build quality of this TV is solid it's like I'm really impressed with Germans when they come to build uh, stuff like their engineering and stuff it's like it's like usually next level and the printing and stuff it's really good nice stickers used and hopefully the picture quality is good and all the functions are good which uh, I'll demonstrate in second part of this video okay see you okay guys I've just uh, mounted the TV and as I've switched on the TV it displays first time installation and it's prompting to select the language I'm just gonna select English and uh, my country is UK uh, environment, environment mode is home mode and uh, I'm just gonna click on start start is okay uh, if you experience any difficulty setting up your setting of using TV okay so now I'm just gonna change the input to input one where my satellite receiver is connected and uh, on the remote control it has got a source button finally somebody has got it right source button you have to select the press exit on the remote control to exit okay exit and uh, just gonna select the source oh, it's it has started I'm just gonna exit this yes and yes okay so now I'm gonna select source so this is the interface uh, which to me the interface is brilliant uh, that's what exactly what I want to see this gives me a professional look uh, okay I'm just gonna select HDMI 1 okay guys uh, I have tested this TV now with the Xbox uh, playing back a game and uh, uh, I'll demonstrate it to you uh, the motion blur it's not that bad at uh, 100 Hertz and uh, it's alright uh, but for hardcore gaming obviously I wouldn't recommend this uh, 
and TV but for normal gaming it's all right I don't see any uh, motion blur playing Forza 6 uh, demo so I'll just demonstrate that and uh, uh, later uh, I'll display I'll show you guys the USB uh, playback functionality of this TV I've also tested the 3D uh, which I'm really impressed with it's not that bad at all it's really good uh, let me just turn the volume down okay and uh, yeah uh, playing back 3d via the USB uh, stick wasn't that bad uh, I mean I was impressed uh, the way this TV was uh, handling the 3d uh, just to let you know it's a passive 3d I'll demonstrate that in a moment but I haven't got a 3d camera to capture the 3d and uh, upload on YouTube uh, but I just want to demonstrate uh, how the gaming looks like uh, it's a Forza 6 uh, demo just to let you know I believe my Xbox is outputting at uh, 1080p uh, at 60 Hertz as you can see uh, so that's like uh, 60 frames per second uh, at 1080p resolution okay i believe uh, this is the demo version so just gonna play the game so you guys can have an idea like what the motion blur and stuff is just gonna play it for a minute I mean the telly is handling it pretty good I mean so far I haven't seen any motion blur or any jerks uh, so the TV processing is handling it pretty good uh, okay I think it's uh, enough for the game demonstration and uh, now I'm just gonna move on to uh, the USB function of this uh, TV uh, one thing I want to mention is you can't uh, rename uh, the HDMI uh, inputs or, or the sources uh, uh, which is not a good thing but if you, you can live with it uh, okay so just gonna go with USB media and uh, we'll start with photo I have uh, copied some photos in it so just sample pictures so just gonna go with the slideshow and by the way this TV is at the moment running in economy mode let me change that to dynamic yeah so these pictures uh, they are being played uh, via the USB uh, connection of this TV so I've connected a USB stick to it okay uh, to go back I'm just gonna press stop and then return and return again okay music I've just copied a song in mp3 format and <coughs> there you go as I said uh, okay so 
there you go it plays well just gonna stop it to go back and uh, movies I'll just play a 3d movie and uh, let me just play uh, a standard movie I don't think so it's 1080p it's just uh, some normal resolution probably equivalent to 720p uh, it does stay uh, 1080p dot mp4 uh, but I doubt it's that quality uh, but it's playing well as you can see and you can put the next movie from here uh, let's forward Okay, there you go. As you can see, it's uh, playing via the USB without any jerks or any issues. So I'm just gonna stop this now. I'm gonna play a 3D movie. Okay, just gonna forward it a bit. It has a 16x forward uh, speed. Okay, all right, so just gonna stop it here. And now I'm gonna turn on the 3D. And this is side by side. And exchange is from left to right, so the frame goes from left to right. Okay, just going to exit this. So, I just tried to put the 3D passive glasses in front of the camera. Just to experiment if uh, you guys can see the 3D. And also, uh, just to mention one more function, you can select the 3D depth. No, that's, you can select the 3D depth when you're doing uh, 2D, 2D to 3D conversion, watching the live TV and stuff, but you can't select that when you're doing uh, uh, a playback from your laptop or Blu-ray player or from USB. Let me just forward this. By the way, Hubble has, the Hubble telescope has done some really amazing pictures uh if if you are into astronomy you should go on nasa website or on google and find out the pictures this amazing telescope has taken over the years i think they're gonna retire this uh, telescope soon okay just gonna pray plus now okay so this is 3d just gonna I don't know if you can see it in 3D or not. If you can, that's pretty good. I mean, I'll find it out myself. This is the first experiment I'm doing, putting 3D glasses in front of a camera that records in 2D only. Okay. All right, guys, uh, hopefully I've left uh, um, a good uh, unboxing and review about this TV. Uh, for the final verdict is for 330 pounds or 329 pounds. The picture quality uh, is good. It's really good. Uh, the motion blur handling is really good at 100 hertz playing games or playing Blu-rays and uh, response time of this TV I believe it's 8 millisecond uh, and I can't find that information written anywhere on any document provided by Blogpunkt uh, or any other company but I believe it's 8 millisecond because uh, uh, the way this TV is handling the motions and uh, I'm really impressed with the picture quality at 1080p and uh, sound quality is okay as i said a lot of people output their sound uh, uh, 
uh, via their home theater system so it's not a big issue for sound uh, picture quality is the main thing that matters uh, and it has got three HDMI inputs which are more than enough uh, sticking in a fire stick a Google Chromecast the new one and you got yourself a smart TV for around 350 or 60 pounds uh, I can't complain about this TV I can't find any faults only time will tell how this TV runs but so far uh, really impressed with the picture quality the interface and the connection input sources provided on this TV uh, hope you like this video if you do click on the like icon and I'll keep making good AV videos thank you bye